Hi everybody! In this video, I will briefly discuss the integrations available to our clients. If you wish to have one of these integrations enabled, please contact your onboarder or our support team for further information. The first option we will look at are the payment gateways. A payment gateway is used to facilitate credit card payments made directly through the online enrollment form. The payment gateways that Accelerate currently integrate with are Squid and eWay. After you've created an account with one of these providers, you will need to enter your account credentials into your system settings before payments can be processed through your website. Next is the NCEVA integration. The National Centre for Vocational Education Research is the national professional body responsible for collecting and managing statistics on the Australian vocational education and training sector. Accelerate is able to integrate with NCEVA's Avetmus validation software to allow your Avetmus data to be uploaded and validated directly to your NCEVA account through the Accelerate system. We have a separate video that can guide how to set this integration up. Next are the API tokens and web service user tokens. This token allows actions to be taken by the Accelerate API so that data from your Accelerate account can be accessed and updated from external sources such as your website. When any action is performed by the API, WordPress plugin or workflow, the system will recognize your web service user as the user running the operation. The SMS settings control the email to SMS integration capabilities of Accelerate. Email to SMS works by Accelerate sending an email to an SMS provider who converts the email into an SMS to send to the selected recipient. Finally, the custom SMTP box allows you to configure custom SMTP settings. By default, Accelerate's own SMTP server will be used for messages sent throughout the system. Specifying a custom outgoing SMTP mail server will allow a particular mail server other than Accelerate's to be used. This can help to resolve issues with emails being blocked by the Accelerate mail server and allow you to send emails from a mail server hosted by your organization. In summary, this video has briefly covered the web and other integrations tab of Accelerate's system settings. The next video will discuss account statistics and active learners.